What is going on guys, Joel here back with another City of Tweak and this time we're talking about Badger 7 and it's made by the developers B Flat Design Studios. Now this is actually a tweak that was available in the past and now it's available for iOS 7, hence the number 7 right there. But you can find this in the Big Boss repo for $149 and also you can even try the original Badger for iOS 5 and 6. If you're still running that, uh, if you are then you are crazy. You should update to iOS 7. Now, basically what this does, it gives you a different way to actually view your notifications straight from your home screen. So with a simple activator action, uh, by swiping up on your icons here, you'll be able to quickly take a glance at all these notifications that you have set in Notification Center straight from your home screen. So my text messages, I have five text messages. And if I simply swipe up, I can see my notifications right here. So this is pretty awesome. You can do this straight from your home screen. But not only that, uh, you can also swipe to the left right here on each individual text message and you can either dial their number so you can call them back, you can trash it, or you can even reply. So that means you can quick reply or just go ahead and check it and say that you read it. But let's go ahead and do the quick reply. So you see here, I'm gonna go ahead and reply to myself which is gonna be right here. And, uh, hi, there it goes. And then you see that I just received it right here. So it's pretty awesome that you can actually reply back straight from this tweak here, I uh, see here. And also you can even, I mean, individual ones, you can do different things. So that's for the text messages. Now, if for example, we have, um, I guess here's Snapchat, if I swipe up, I'll be able to see my recent Snapchats here, and some of you guys have Snapchatted me. <laughs> if you want to Snapchat me, uh, I'll, I'll if I remember, I'll leave uh, my name down below in the description. But also, when it comes to folders, you see here, you can simply swipe up on a folder, and you'll be able to see notifications from specific apps in that folder if there's any notifications. So if you have a folder with a lot of different applications and you don't want to go in there and find that, uh, you can quickly go ahead and check your notifications just by swiping up in that folder and then uh, we can go ahead and trash it or you can open up the application so if we go ahead and open it it'll open up the application there so there's sports center and you'll be directed to that notification so it gives you a quick way of viewing your notifications uh, right here so i can simply swipe here and then trash that or open up that application and then uh Go ahead and Snapchat, since I'm doing Snapchat here. But let's go ahead and check out some of the settings here. So if we go ahead and open up Badger from your settings application, you'll be able to do a different gesture. So right now it's set to swipe up, but you can also do a double tap. Now you will have to respring your device for that change to take effect. But we go down and you can also change a couple settings here. You can change the blur amount. So right now, if you see, let me go ahead and do that. It's kind of blurred in the background, it looks pretty nice. But if you want to mess with that, you can go ahead and slide the slider all the way up or to the right. And then it blurs it a little more right here. As you see there, you're not able to see very clearly the apps behind it like it was before. Or you can uh, decrease the blurness and you can see straight through it. But it has like a dimmed background. So I kind of like it. I prefer it like in the middle. And now below that, we do have the darken amount percentage. So if we go all the way to 100%, then it'll completely darken the background that you see there. And if we, of course, decrease it all the way down, it's gonna be a little lighter than what it was. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in the middle. And then right here in the animation, so if I decrease it, it'll quickly do an animation. So if I swipe up, you see how quickly that did it? Uh, and then we go ahead and change this slider all the way to the right and it slowly fades into your notifications right there. So, I mean, either way, I mean, I kind of like it in the middle once again. And right below that, we have the enable to pull to refresh. So that means if we have that enabled, I can simply swipe up and then pull this down and you'll see it refreshing right there, just like that. So that is what that does and include the notification count. If I disable that, you might have just seen that right now. If I swipe up, it doesn't show how many notifications. Of course, you still see the badge right there, 
but you won't see how many notifications are listed up there. So, I mean, I don't know. It's all up to you what, what, <laughs> what you want on there. But you can include that notification count if you'd like. But the thick line here, that basically is going to be that line that's shown right down here. It's going to be a thicker line as you see there. And I'm going to go ahead and just leave that off. And then you also have the option to decrement badge count and also allow zero badge count as well. And then below that we have clear deleted notifications and you can also choose to respring your device. But that is actually Badger guys. It's a pretty cool way to view your notifications if you don't want to go ahead and view it from your notification center. Uh, you can quickly access them through your home screen by swiping up or double tapping on an application and then quickly reply just like this. I think that is one of my favorite features or even call back. Uh, so it allows you to quick reply on your text messages and also view your notifications and open up the app straight from Badger 7. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about this tweak. And also go ahead and hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. It not only helps me, but it supports the channel as well. And it also lets me know that you are enjoying these Cydia tweaks. Uh, but yeah, go ahead and follow me on any of my social networks if you're not yet following me. All the links will be down below for Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and Instagram. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of my future videos. But other than that, guys, that's going to do it for this City of Tweak. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And thanks a lot for watching. And I'll catch you all on the next one. All right? Peace.